let us see the next question consider the following movement of the stock over a period of past day 1 to day 12 closing prices are provided if information given about population data we are required to calculate again n1 n2 and r that is the question now friends over here whatever the working that we understand is like this <clears throat> we have to make a comparison of the closing prices to make the calculation of answer the way we do in case of the simple data for assessment <clears throat> with only one change <clears throat> that is whatever the price change that we have from day 1 to day 2 that itself is taken as a price change and accordingly so we add one more unit in N1 why because we understand that say from day 1 to day 2 there is an increase in the price if at all there is a reduction in the price then in that case say we would have added one unit over here so whatever the change that you have from day 1 to day 2 in that direction only say we will add one more unit set to that direction this is the way we are required to do answer in case of the population data instead of the simple data for assessment. So let on further, that is write on answer. In case of population data, comma, we have to add one more price change from day 0 to day 1 in the same direction as from day 1 to day 2 hence <coughs> N1, N2 and R will be as follows so n1 will be 6 n2 will be 6 and r will be 4 so it is over here 6 6, 6 and 4. Right on answer.